We need to take this off. Come here. April 1st, 2020. Oh my goodness. Uh, a lot going on. A lot of things going on. Currently sitting on our deck looking at the smog in the Hollywood sign right now. Let me see if you guys can see it. let me get this out of the way so I have super severe allergies to the point that I should basically live like the bubble boy so I'm currently wearing this mask I wear it when I go out as well because I have asthma so I'm high risk and just give myself a little extra protection so now it's mainly just for the pollen everything that's going on in the air because if you're an allergy sufferer you know that like the struggle is super real right now but I still want to get this done. I took a huge risk and went to the store today to pick up some plants, little starters, as you guys can see. Got some gloves. Zay's keeping me company, laying in the sun. Matt is there, but he's trying to get as much sun as possible right now. Doesn't want to be on camera. Okay. Yesterday, I actually ordered a bunch of 99 cent seeds in different varieties. Uh, the website stated that processing, shipping, whatever is going to take like between five and seven extra days and I really want to get things going now. As you guys saw, I have a ton of planters in the corner over there that aren't being used as well as the planter that's over on this side. I want to get some veggies going. I want to get ornamentals and pollinator type plants as well for the bees and such. Right now, I'm just going to basically spread everything out, figure out the containers that I want to put it in. I already had one, but I picked up another bag of this potting dirt. It's organic for the veggies. Normally, Home Depot in the spring, they have like really great sales on the plants, things like that. There wasn't a lot of variety as far as organic. I usually try to get all organic veggies, obvious for obvious reasons. Um, there wasn't a lot. Things were expensive, but I just wanted to get something going. Like I said, I have my seeds that'll eventually come, but I want to get something going in the meantime. I'm gonna lay everything out and figure out what's gonna go where, get the pots ready. Hopefully I'll get planting today, but if not, it'll be ready to go for the morning. I need to check which supplies I have as far as fertilizer, things like that and hopefully I won't have to go to the store again because that would totally defeat the purpose of everything. Working up a sweat over here <laughs> but it still looks crazy. These are all of the pots. Not that one with water in it. I'm gonna dump that out when it rains in a couple of days and I'm not using the big still one either. This is what I have. Veggies. I'm hoping to grow the lettuces in there, strawberries in here, and then I have options for the rest. It's looking like a hot mess, but uh, it'll come together. Ugh, sweating so much on top of sweating so much because this mask makes my face hot, as well as my glasses because they're so large they trap in a lot of heat. The struggle is real. Mind you, these are no good when they're wet, so. <laughs> This guy is going to get a serious wipe down when it's time to go inside. I've got a notebook. I looked up a ton of information this morning about companion plants, like what can be planted together and what should be kept apart. There is a plan for the city picker. Um, they tell you how to space things out. Like there's a few different layouts that you can do. I'm going to do the one that I did last time I used it because it was super successful. I had like three rows of three plants, the tallest ones in the back had herbs towards the front so I had like peppers and tomatoes in the back can't remember what was in the middle but in the front I had like citronella and like basil and something else it was great 
hopefully I'll get one or two more of these because I really liked it and I like the fact that you can just like roll it around and it's so flattering. I have nothing but good things to say about this. The only thing I didn't like, it came with a black plastic tarp that you poke holes in for the plants to come through and that like fell apart with the quickness but other than that it was fine without it so I'm really gonna try to get another one of these. I haven't seen them at Home Depot in a while. I didn't garden last year my allergies were too bad but the last couple of years that I looked, they weren't there anymore. You can order them online still though, from different places. I'm happy to see how many pots I actually have. That helps out a lot as far as saving money. So yay, especially since I got it up the bum at Home Depot on the price of the seedlings this year. So every little bit helps. I was hoping to get little starters of lettuce. They didn't have any. So I got kill seeds, masculine seeds, spinach seeds which already have some coming but it's all good because I'll plant a series of them so hopefully I'll be harvesting all summer. I got a French lavender. I prefer the French over Spanish. I think it just smells better. Citronella mosquito plant. I like to plant that to keep the pest away. Marigolds also for the pest. I got pickling cucumbers. I was looking for a little bush variety for containers, but I've grown non-bush cucumbers before in containers and they've done well. So hopefully these will do well. And Bub loves him some pickles. So I've been learning to learn how to pickle in cans. So hopefully that will happen. And then as far as tomatoes, I got Husky Cherry Reds, as well as a better bush tomato. I also have tomato seeds coming my order I placed yesterday. Uh, got a jalapeno pepper back here and a hot burrito pepper. Kind of looks like Thai chilies which I've had success with in the past so hopefully these will do well for me. Um, and then strawberries. I love strawberries. I got like four of these seascape strawberries. I don't know anything about those. I've grown strawberries before but not this variety. Also got a sweet mint. I was looking for chocolate mint. They didn't have any. So I'm gonna give this a go this year. But mint's like super hardy. It's like a weed, so I'm sure it'll do fine. And then I got some sage and flat leaf parsley. We cook with that a lot, so and that is my little garden home. As well as the organic dirt. I've got some bark mulch stuff there that I've had for a while, so uh, we'll see. I'm going with three rows of four. I thought it was three rows of three, but I have enough cucumbers in that little six pack to add. I just have to figure out how I want to place them. I have my lavender. It's going to be in this one. I probably should put in something bigger, but that's going to be okay for now. Citronella. Mint. Lone leftover strawberry. Because the rest are going to go in this tray. I've grown strawberries in this before. It was all good. So its seeds are going to go in here. This is probably going to be for leftover cucumber. No, this is kale. The little bit bigger one's going to be for cucumber. Time to add the dirt. Hopefully have enough for everything. Got my potty mix in. I have mixed dolomite. <laughs> or garden lime. And with about the top five, six inches of soil, I've made two troughs in here for the layout that I'm doing since I'm doing a three row layout in here I'm gonna put fertilizer and then I'll come back with the next step. The instructions were two cups of the synthetic, three cups of organic, so for each row I did a cup and a half. Okay guys so I finally finished getting everything plant it, pot it, however you want to say it. This is basically day one of everything being in the ground. I even sowed some seedlings, so I have like spinach, kale, <laughs> attempting carrots, we'll see what happens. And I have a salad mix in there. And that's everything you guys saw yesterday. It is April 2nd. Woke up at 6, took Zay out at 6.30, promptly came up, 
been working out here finishing up everything. It is now 9.09 and I'm done. I was really gunning trying to get things into place because we're going to have rain coming up I think like Sunday through Wednesday if it doesn't change. So I just really wanted to get everything in its new little homes. Right now I am just going to take some notes of what I've planted and when. Um, notes on the seeds that I sowed and how long they take to mature and do all the good stuff, whatever. Days to harvest. And I need to make a note because I'm out of one of my fertilizers, so I need to keep that in mind. And I am just about out of dirt, like I definitely need to get another bag of that. Uh, so when the seedlings come, I'll have places to put them. Let me know if you guys are gardening, anybody doing small space, container, urban gardening would love to hear from you. Are you guys using it as a form of self-care and therapy? Like I love being outside, playing in the dirt. <sighs> kind of levels off the nerves, eases the tension and the anxiety from everything that's going on right now. So yeah, growing food, not lawns people. We'll see how this all turns out. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Take care. Bye.